Hello guys, I'm going, I'm Coron and I'm going to be speedrunning Link's Awakening DX. Um, and hopefully I'm going to be PBing today. So without further ado, let's get started. So what I'm looking this, what I'm looking for in this run, is just a really nice sort of clean run, like no major mistakes, no deaths. I think my uh, my improvements with my movement, and um, so it's just small things that improve speed. I should definitely be able to PB quite easily um, without mistakes. Which is why am I which is why I'm targeting one twenty five at the moment. And this is Quicksword. So I'm running uh, any percent, no save and quit, no wrong walk, no outbound. Um, no save and quit. I can open the save and quit menu to cancel text. I cannot actually use the save and quit feature though. Wrong walk basically means no doghouse glitch. Or um, if I wrong warp in dungeon seven, I get off the mini boss. It's also not loud. Um, No out of bounds is basically like no getting to place where I wouldn't be able to get um, in the first place. Like being able to jump inside of walls. So, um, so far, perfect um, run. Moblin DB was brilliant. I mean, I could have got up first, or that's the only thing I could have done like differently or better. But as always with these runs. What I'm looking at is my dungeon two. Um, I really seem to struggle with dungeon two. I mean, I'd be happy with a sub eight minute dungeon one, but dungeon two, I just, I just need a clean dungeon two, no deaths. And that's my problem lately, is that through <coughs> through like some fault of my own, some not fault of my own. Um I've just died in Dungeon 2 so much lately. 
And it's killed runs. Like, it really does kill runs. But I mean, it, I guess it kills runs f mostly because it that sort of kills me mentally. <coughs> to know I've had such a bad dungeon. I was not confident of um, beating that split. That's an incredibly quick split that I've got. Um, I could be in it if the um, shopkeeper wasn't too bad, but I mean, it could have been a lot worse, to be honest. Could have been better, that one. So lately, like I've not been streaming it, but I've been doing sort of an offline practice thing, where I've basically been practicing the entire route, room by room. Do apologize for the phone you can hear. It's loud, it's always ringing, it's always like cold calling, etc. Probably lost a second there. No. Nothing major. If I get a good mold on here, I could get a good dungeon one time. It looks like he's going to be a bit of a troll. A little bit of a troll, but not too bad. I mean, I've had much worse Maldon fights. Oh, that gold. Wow. <laughs> that is a huge gold on that split. I don't think I've ever had a sub 750. No, that, that's, that's the first time I've had that quick a dungeon one split. I mean, so something you may know that my splits on the um, on the left are actually my splits for my most recent PB. I had a 126.16.8, and then like a few days ago, I managed to get a 126.16.4. Um, I did. I, I wasn't really bothered. I mean, it's, it was a PB, but the time was exactly the same. However, um, I did save the splits to live split, and those are the splits that you see now. And my main worry was that my first half of the game was really quick. It's like. It's only the second half I could save any major time. But I mean, I'm up. I'm on I'm up on was probably my first my best um dungeon one ever. That was terrible though.
I want to eventually find a way somewhere that I can um, one cycle this guy. PB hype. I'm totally on fire today. Don't want to speak too soon. I really want this to be a PB. And I think at this point I'm I'm up quite a lot. Missing one enemy isn't going to do too much for my piece of power. Come on, RNG. I actually would have preferred if he had another one as I was going in. Wow. I really need to practice that Stalfos room. Good place to get a piece of power as well. Nice and early. Missed tech skip. safety hearts because like I screw up so much in this dungeon I I don't want a chance surviving with uh, like on just half a heart indeed shout outs to geese always shout outs to geese So I killed that keys just because, like, it can be a bit of a trial, can take a hit off me, um, and I don't want a chance hit. Oh my god. <laughs> Did I just get that RNG? Oh my god, did I just get two perfect rooms? Those two rooms lose me this dungeon so much. And I got that one as well. Uh, I don't want to speak too early, but I think gold D2 incoming. Which is an achievement, because I've not been saving time in D2 a lot lately. I thought I'd bomb arrowed a little bit too early. D2 split. I need to not look at chat because I do not want to get distracted now. That was bad. That was also bad. <laughs> you know, like sometimes when Bow eats that thing, 
Occasionally a bomb drops. Got that. That hard piece of shame, I think, was I was trying too hard to not get it. So I hesitate slightly on my item screen at the moment. Um, it's not like hesitating on what items I need. It's hesitating on what items on what buttons. So my goal at my goal here is probably a sub 20 minute D3 now. Um might not happen though because I know my D3 was incredibly good on my PB. So, I have um, three types of, two types of um, D3s. I have the D3 where, like, everything goes right. And I have the D3 which everything goes good. And I lose 45 seconds and I don't actually know how so much time was lost. In, intend to lose that much health. I mean, I did intend to get hit um, because I don't want to lose this piece of power with an acorn. Dude, screw that owl room. So I've lost a piece of power now. Okay, so I might go I might actually go red on my overall time from this dungeon. I tend to have notoriously bad dungeon threes if I don't have piece of power for it. And particularly if I have to do the alternate route because I use an extra bomb on Dodongos. Again. I mean, I hate Dodongos. I really do. Sub 20 minute D3 is not, uh, not going to happen anymore. But there's still a lot of time I can save on the run. Why am I menuing? Hey Bert, cheers, uh, cheers for the luck. Since I no longer have peace of power, I can take the... Uh, I can take the... Uh, Invincibility frames.
still remains to be seen how much time that Dodongo fight cost me in terms of the run. Come on, RNG. So, um... I'm not entirely sure why it does that sometimes. Like, sometimes I spin slash it and... They both take damage, but only one jumps up. Twenty-five seconds. But I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting more of a time loss there, so... I can't complain too much. But had I not screwed up Dodongos, that could have been another gold. I mean, I got piece of power in a perfect spot. <laughs> now, this is a split which is annoying because I can save so much time on it. But, I lose so much time on it, mostly. So, um, it's like... I think I do really well on it, and then it turns out I don't actually save that much time. But I see where there is a lot of time to save. Because every bonk I do... Like, this is why I've got hashtag bonkless. Every bonk I do wastes quite a big amount of time. Yeah, this is um this was the first game I owned on um Game Boy uh like the nineteen eighty nine Game Boy <laughs> was the original Link's Awakening. Um if I'm gonna be honest, the first time I started running like started playing DX was a speedrun. Like I'd never played DX before I started speedrunning it. There's not really that much difference, though. And because I'm not rooster skipping, I will be keeping Bow Wow. Yeah, this is always my the first game I um I really played as a kid. Imagine how I felt when I saw speedrunners completely destroy it in the way I'm doing right now. <laughs> that was uh, it's not good. I didn't want to have to kill anything in here. But seeing as I can't make that last jump without the, without the invincibility frames anyway. But my piece of power route tends to die at this point anyway because I keep Bow Wow. But. Yeah, I'm going to keep Bow Wow despite my heart situation.
I lost a few seconds there. Insert sea bass style midtro here. And I think I might lose a few seconds on this. I mean, I've been quite slow on this part. But <laughs> it all changed in D5. Like the entire run changes from D5 onwards. So if I can get a clean second half of the run and I'm up or even by the end of Dungeon 4, there is an extremely good chance I'm going to PB and PB well. Although, I did have the perfect um, final boss on my PB. Well, when I say perfect, I mean... My gold split, which was a perfect final boss, um, is only 5 seconds quicker than uh, what I got on my PB. Swag. Ooh. <laughs> I can't tell at this point whether I'm going to save on this split or not. If I don't fall down the hole, there's no reason to say I shouldn't. I should probably try and not kill that tunneler. Um, Big Zack can screw up his power. So yay, I didn't fall down the hole. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow. Half a minute on that split. What the hell happened on my PP? <coughs> Saying all the golds today. I mean, if it weren't for D3, I'd be a minute up at this point. <coughs> I've just got to avoid doing something really stupid at the end. <laughs> like screwing up signpost maze. <laughs> the globs, I mean, it's just insane. It's this bit I have to be careful about bonks. Because this is where I do lose time all the time. <laughs> Did not want piece power there. But the reason why I kept Bow Wow um, 
is because I knew my piece of power was screwed by the fact that I failed in the uh, Dream Shrine. Um, so that puts me back. Not that many enemies. But it probably means I won't get in D6. There is a chance I will get in D7 though. Providing no deaths. So, up until this point I was a little bit nervous about my health situation, because normally the heart refill after the Dream Shrine is um, when you give back Bow Wow off Madame Meow Meow, she refreshes your hearts. However, I didn't get that, and I often start this dungeon with like two hearts, so I was like... Yeah, I've got three hearts to not take damage until dungeon four. I mean, this dungeon could get pretty hairy for me. Oh god. I'm certainly losing time on this split now. charge that sword so that I would have it for that part. <laughs> yep, I lost a little bit of time. Nowhere near the amount that I expected to lose. Didn't get quick exit. So, <laughs> the um, the reminders, the white writing on the right of the screen, that is sort of like almost a joke list of everything that I have done to kill a run late in the game. Silla and uh, cheers. Uh, I hope I do too, because it's been a long time coming. The sub 125, and I do want to. I do want to sort of PB a run that I was that much up. Oh, I won't add to the list today. Um. If I'm going to be honest, I don't think there is anything left to add to the list. <laughs> I don't think there's any other big kind of run killer that I have not found yet. <laughs> it's like stupid one that is. Well, maybe except not forget forgetting to not do rooster skip or something. 
But I don't think I can really forget that. Oh my god, that RNG I didn't have to menu. I was half tempted to get an acorn there just because I don't like taking damage in this dungeon. That was bad. That was bad that I missed the bomb. But, um, I don't believe I lose any time missing that bomb. Because, while most people might be struggling on arrows at this point, because the almost might, almost night maze, um, I never struggle on arrows. Although I have to say, this run does need a good wall snake, which quite lately he has been trolling me to no end. Why did I just menu? I'll tell you what it is. Because <coughs> I forgot I had to hit him with a second bomb. Just getting the heart just in case I do terrible on this jump. But if I do terrible, I mean. The reason why I'm still really confident of it, sub 125, is because. Well, I won't say it yet. I will say it now. I died on that jump during my uh, PB. I hope I don't get a piece of power now. I actually know a piece, yeah, and I did. A piece of like the second piece of power of this dungeon. If I was to get it outside of the dungeon, that would be good because that would mean I would definitely get um piece of power for D6. Feather. 
So the reason why I put um, my ocarina down right at the bottom corner is because I won't need it for a while. I don't want to sort of like get caught in the menus on it. Do badly in that room. So, uh, ball snake, please. I must get the forehead on him now. That should not have been a three cycle, I hit him eight times. So uh, that guy takes eight hits to kill. Um, I hit him nine times. I think that's maybe because he was like sort of back into the wall at that point. But it's it's not bad because he um he basically gave it for free at the end there. This could be the run I've been looking for. I just need to keep it together for the um, Dungeon 7. And just not do anything stupid in Dungeon 8. And I need to stop resting my finger on my split button. Yeah, having Bow Wow really makes this bit easier. And it's it's because I just hate those um the green blobs so much. That's, that lost me quite a lot of time, but I could have lost me a lot more if I had died. I was, I was a little bit too safe on that one. Plus, I mean, I screwed up the cycle my sword hits. Yeah, I've been too safe on that one. Basically because I've screwed up so much. If you walk it when you've got hook when you've got boots shield, does it actually pop them? I wonder.
I don't think I can uh, survive a hit from these, so I'm going to play a little bit safe. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I did take a hit. As long as... Actually, I could... I could potentially die here in Dungeon 6. No, I definitely don't want to die. A very good piece of power positioning for D6. And I was I was extremely nervous about that. That room. I've screwed this up again. So despite me being overly cautious, I could, well, not really overly cautious, it was totally justified. I could gold this dungeon, based on where I got peace power. I just have to hope the mini boss doesn't screw me over. Oh, I didn't put the ocarina in the right place. Oh well. This could be rip piece of power if I get this wrong. I only took one hit there. That's decent. So, I was very conscious of my position going into that room. Because my last two, fi my last two times fighting that guy, I actually um, took a lot of damage because the ball got stuck in the um, bombed wall. lost me quite a lot of time. Hmm. I'm not think I'm thinking this might not be that great a dungeon actually. So I lost peace power in a really stupid room. 
Although, to be fair, I always get hit in that room anyway. I get hit in that room, tile room, every time I do it. said RNG. Should have taken my um, boost at that point. Seems like my sound is getting destroyed. So, I've definitely got enough hearts to do my usual strap, which is to tank a hit to um, hit these guys. But I've got the fairy, so that's good. For a horrible second there, I thought it was an opening because I didn't have the key. One of my worst um, tries of that room for a while. Oh god damn it. Time lost there. That was too slow. Glitchy sound is annoying me. Gonna lose time on this dungeon. Especially since I picked them to do my menu. Good pace so far. I'm I'm extremely confident I'm gonna PB this. Now the question is whether I'm going to get the sub 125. Yesterday in the race, I actually forgot to get the uh, the third song at this point. Oh, 
Right. I've got to not try and do this fast. I've got to try and do this consistent. Bowel makes the menu almost desirable there. Just checking, I did remember to get the roof. He's in danger five there, that would have been bad. sure if I can get sub one hour Berkey or not. So rooster skip skip. Oh, what is up with my sound quality right now? It's terrible. I don't like that my ocarina is actually going to be the first in the list of my menu. I don't think sub one hour Berkey is going to happen. I think I'm going to miss it by a few seconds. I keep expecting like a um, and dungeon name um, text box come up as soon as I enter this thing. <laughs> Sub one hour Berkey, so yes, it happened. <laughs>
make sure I've got enough health, health for this flamethrower. Um, so I need to make sure I don't take damage. In this next part particularly. That was good, that guy could have screwed me over there. From there. It's the first time I've missed it for a while. Oh, I think I just went mad. I didn't wait until I took damage before jumping. Yeah, a piece of power dungeon 7 won't happen now. It's just a shame it would have saved me a few seconds. And it would have made a certain hookshot jump a lot easier, but can't complain. Should have made that menu in this dungeon for the text skip. So, in the past, I've always gone for that heart and um, sort of forgotten that there's hearts in this room. So, if I go silent during those parts, it's because I'm mega concentrating. I don't want to screw one of those up today. So I've screwed them up lately. Still don't know the timing of buffering that jump, but I wasn't on target anyway. I mean, it's a risky thing that saves a menu, and that's it. it saves one menu, about like three seconds. Hey, surreal. So, I am going to take the risk to save a few seconds here, and I'm not going to get the uh, the extra hearts that are in the room next to it. Yeah, hey Surreal, and uh, cheers for the luck. Oh. I lost a lot of time on the race to this yesterday. Because I must not die on Blaine now. I lost time on him, but I didn't lose as much time as I could have. And crucially, I did not die. So, I've got reminder on the corner of my screen. Don't save and quit. I almost did just that then. I just hate that 2D room just because it's... I can't get a feel for the patterns. Like, if I miss the one cycle, I don't know what to do, basically. Uh, 
Oh, slime ball, dude, really. Seriously, dude, that, that was a lot of time lost in that. Maybe was. Yes, shout out to geese. actually got that for once. <laughs> I'm nervous now. I'm nervous that I'm going to be so close to a... Um, I almost stepped the teleport. I'm nervous I'm going to be so close to the 125 that I'm going to screw up like Dungeon 7. Or even something like Aghanim will troll me or something will happen. I have never got a Burless on that second um, room. I could do with a piece of power in this dungeon actually, just for this boss. Because he can really troll me. <laughs> well now, for me to lose time on that split, that's actually quite... A, that's actually a bad split. Because my PB was a black bad spirit, and if I lost time, that's just. That'll definitely be a good amount of time to save up. I'm just so happy that I golded Dungeon 2, Dungeon 1, and Dungeon 5. <laughs> uh, time lost because of menuing. I don't know why, I just get annoyed when I fail menuing. Just because it's something so simple, but it's something I feel I cannot afford to practice yet because there's so many other things I have to practice. So it's like, I want, I want to get my menuing better, but there's things that will save me more time if I improve than menuing. But it's just, menuing feels like free time, if I lose it.
Oh, I've still to this day never seen Bow Wow eat that cutscene. And again, another menu that I could have done on a text skip. Don't know why I got the um, hearts there. I mean, I should get them on the way back. I have to check how many bombs I've got. 18. That is way more than I need. Almost jumped like at the end of his um chatting and I'm always so anxious I'm always so nervous about jumping at the end of that thing um, just because out of bounds hype I did it again! I have two buttons to press and I can't press one of them. I want to say rip sub 125, but that's actually what lost me so much time doing this dungeon in the first place on my PB. I would have got that as well. That's going on my reminder thing now. Now, uh, I'm not extremely confident for sub 125 now. <laughs> I mean, my splits look like I can get it, and I agree. I need a perfect final boss. I need no blue balls. Uh, basically, what I screwed up there was like the big thing in the run where I could have saved time. Aside from Dungeon 5. That's, that's annoying because I could have saved so much time. Also, I can never hit, like, I can never hit the platform just doing one hookshot jump in this dungeon. But why the hell can I not do rooster skip, but I can do that? Oh shit! Holy shit! 
Oh damn, I did not expect that kind of split. I did not expect that kind of time save. Now just imagine if I had not made that mistake, that would be like up by 320. Yeah, it's a nice split, and you know what? I'm I'm annoyed because I I made a mistake and got that split, and I'm just wondering how the hell did I even save that amount of time? I mean, I'm seeing that there's a lot of silly stuff that I'm screwing up in this run, but when I'm this much up, I mean, it's promising because it means well, there's a lot of time for me to save. Right. Stupid room. I missed that clip so much. Um, no chest turn, but chest jump hype. So this this dungeon is so short I don't even have a split for it. I mean my next split is when I start the final boss. So that's, I guess it's quite a long split. Um, eight minutes. Get from dungeon seven, dungeon four, finish dungeon four, get to the egg, do the egg, and then start the boss. Maybe I should make sort of mini splits for the uh, final boss for each phase, just see how much time I'm losing on it. <coughs> <coughs> I apologise for coughing. Bow Wow stopped slacking, you should have ate him ages ago. Oh dear. Oh dear, no one saw that. So, I am going to be ex Actually, hang on. I'm, I'm like more than two minutes up. <laughs> so my goal here is sub one two four. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't know. I, I'll have to see what this split is. Um, I have to have a perfect boss fight if I. I mean. <laughs> I've no idea how much time I'm gonna save on this run. I I I need to know this split first. I always get that text skip wrong. It's just Weird timing. So preparing my boss items.
Right, so s sub one, two, three will not happen. But I think this is going to be a one, two, three point something. One, two, three in some seconds. I hate this picture. <laughs> Got it. That's the one thing I failed on my PB. It's getting the flim pixel. I started walking too much to the side as well. One. Actually, can I get chat to keep count of blue walls for me? Because I was put on my last split now. Um, so, can you keep track until the end? Oh. Just not paying attention. That would have been one. Oh, that. He forgave me there. Quick gun and kill as well. Come on, sub one two four, sub one two four, sub one two four. Sub one two four. <laughs> oh yes. I mean uh that buffer took forever, but that that is a that is a flipping solid run. I've no idea how I'm going to beat that. <laughs> I mean, lost a lot of time in Dungeon 7 and Dungeon 3. <laughs> but God knows how I'm going to save time on that one. That is amazing, that split. Th <laughs> Two and a half minutes. Wow. It's a PB, I'm letting the credits roll out. <laughs> uh, cheers everyone for watching. Cheers and congrats. Um, first and foremost, shout out to the geese. Um, uh, is it, like, that's a saying, but yeah, shout out to geese. Like, he's sort of part of the reason why I'm still motivated to spite so many resets. Um, and shouts to like the entire LADX community. I've uh, just been so supportive, um, been helping me with quite a lot of kind of time saves. And um, yeah. Also, I want to say rip LA um, LA War Plus percent because that's not going to last very long. That world record, <laughs> uh, judging by what they found yesterday. So happy with that one. <laughs> massive PB hype. That is a massive PB.
So, I mean, obviously I know where quite a lot of that time comes from. Like, uh, D5, like, not dying in D5 saved me so much time, but to gold that split is phenomenal. I mean, I've not ever... I've set that gold in a practice run um, where I was on fire. But no, I mean, there's there's a lot of time there which I can't really account for where that came from. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that could have been a good boss fight as well. Uh, I missed one of the yellow balls. <laughs> So, <laughs> I have finally meeten my target. You never understood the end. That is my next target, sub 122. But I think I'm going to stop running this game for a few days. Um, I always do, it's like I get a really good PB and I'm like, that means I don't have to run for a few days. Um, uh, yes, um, it was always meant to be a dream. I'm not doing Hundo. Ever. Well, not ever, but I mean... I'm still going to be working on this. I want to get to sub 120 before I look at any other categories. I'm looking at other games though. Um, particularly like Spyro. So yeah. I'm going to cut stream now. Thank you very much for everyone that was watching. I have been Cravone. And I will see you later. Just have to edit one thing. <laughs>